<laughs> my leader, if you're watching this video today, comparison is on the verge of latching on to you in a way that it's never latched on to you. And I gotta say this because the inspiration came from reading The Power of I Am from Joe Osteen. And he talked about in a specific chapter, comparison. And what was so potent about this was that he spoke on literally how God has gifted us with certain assignments and how we should look at other people who may seem further along this journey, look at them as though they've received just what they've needed to get their assignment done. Think about this. <laughs> My leaders, think about this. Somebody who is further along the line, or maybe not even further along the line, you're looking at somebody who you feel should be, uh, but they still look like they're dragging along. The idea that, man, they've, receive at this point we're not talking about expecting for something greater like we always should but at this point in your life right now you have just what you need and so many of my leaders have been coming to me this season and what we've been feeling like yo we deserve this we deserve that and we tend to get in a place where we're looking beyond and we really want to grab hold of some of the accomplishments everybody else has. Maybe it's monetary, maybe it's relationship status, maybe it's a job status, a career goal, a fitness goal. And it's like we're looking and it's what's great. It may be a materialistic thing too, who knows? And we look beyond and we're like, yo, I should, I should have that. But if we, if we take this idea of comparison out of the equation, what I'm starting to recognize this season is, dang, when I really break it down to the things that I got to do in my life right now, when I break it down to certain projects that I need to finish right now, it's like I can have everything else that I need right now, more, more money, an extra 20 grand in the bank. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can have that at this moment. That's going to come. But what I recognize is, dang, I got a project to focus on today. Like when I, when I really bring it down to today, I got a project to focus on today. What does that mean? What do I need right now? I need my MacBook. I have that, check. I need my Final Cut Pro, check. I still got my camera, check. I need my headphones, even though I may want some better headphones, but I have that, check. For my podcast, I still got my Blue Yeti mic, check. Like I got everything I need to create. On, on, on top of that, number one, I still got my health. <laughs> my leader, I still got my health. I still got the energy to create. And it's like, my leader, you may be looking at a situation right now where just really bring it back to the basics and really ask yourself, man, what is it that I need at this moment to do just this assignment? Because you never know how this assignment that you're in this season is gonna propel you to that next place. You just gotta finish it. You know, I've never seen in any university or any school a uh, teacher give you an assignment <laughs> and expect you to have like the next three to four assignments done. It's on an assignment basis. God gives assignments for this season. This season, if we would just focus and finish the assignment that we need to do today, Today, <laughs> we can get to that next place that we want to go to. And so many times we're thinking so far ahead that we forget, like, yo, we blessed right now. If you got your help, you blessed. If you're watching this right now, you woke up today, you got something to do today, and you have just enough. You have just enough. This hit my spirit. It just hit my spirit hard because it's like it's so easy to get into this place of comparison, man. You know what I mean? You want your business to be lit. Everybody in the world should be watching your gram. You know what I mean? Because you're just making some of the dopest content. But it's like, look, maybe at this season, just think about it. At this season, if that is where your head is at, then it's putting too much pressure on you to perform. Maybe at this season, you're not ready for all of that attention. You know what I mean? Just think about this. You may not be ready for all of that attention 
you may just need to focus right now on what you have in front of you and just complete that assignment and keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. Well, Ja, man, I've been doing that for years, man. <laughs> I've been doing that for years, man. I've been rinsing. I've been repeating for years, man. I can't rinse no more, Ja. I can't rinse. Well, if that's the case, what you're doing is probably not for you. That's just the that's just the case. What you're doing is probably not for you. You may need to try something different. Cause think about it, what if you made it doing the thing that you're currently doing right now? You've already burnt out. You're going to get to a season where you don't feel like doing some of the things that you're doing at this moment. My leaders, don't compare yourself. Just finish your assignment. Finish your assignment. And this is me speaking to myself because God is really putting this on my heart. Ja. Ja. God, what you want, bro? <laughs> ja, finish your assignments. Finish those edits. Continue to communicate with those people you're communicating with right now. Do it like this. And if you do that, the promise is, is there. But man, I don't know if I can trust you with the promise that I have for you if you won't even finish the things that I've given you today. I've gifted you with the opportunity to do what it is that you're currently doing today. Just do that. <laughs> Just do that. Do that and do it phenomenal. Put your time into it. Put your passion. Do it as if you're serving me. You know what I mean? Do your work as if you're doing it for God and not trying to please anybody else. You know? And you take the pressure off of yourself, man. The Spirit just wanted me to speak because somebody right now is dealing with the fact that life may not look the way it's supposed to look for you, quote unquote, because you don't have certain things, you don't have the attention. You know what I mean? That you want to have in your business, in your life. You're not in that relationship that you want to be in. Focus on what you have today. It's about gratitude, but it's also about choosing the right attitude. Choosing to be like, all right, God, I know I have enough. Because only when you enter the place of today and get in the presence of now at this very moment, only when you do that, it's the only time where you can really give your all today without your thoughts being down the line like you think in two weeks from now i'm finna do this in, in three weeks from now this finna happen in four weeks from now i expect this to happen and when it doesn't there's disappointment my leaders god is trying to set us up this season for a peace that surpasses our understanding and for many of you all including myself our peace starts when we're not competing with somebody's schedule we're not competing with somebody's income we're not competing with somebody's whip. We're not competing with what we don't have, but we're competing with ourselves and what we need to start doing. I have a quote on my door in my room. It's on, it's on the door of my room. And it says, it's by Zig Ziglar. And it says, you will make a lousy anybody else, but you make the best you. <laughs> oh, I need this cheesy. It's so cheesy, but man, I'll be smiling every time I see that quote. You'll make a lousy anybody else, but you'll make the best you that has ever existed. My leaders, have a phenomenal, what's today? I don't even know the days, man. If it's, I think today is Wednesday. Have a phenomenal Wednesday, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Stop comparing. We out.